Oh, is this a dog fight? Yeah. What you doing? Did you build that car, Colton? Yeah. Out of Legos, right? Awesome. Would you guys like to build your own toys? Yes! I mean, not just building things out of Legos, but actually make your own toys? Yeah, yeah. Good, I got a 3D printer. Let's go make something. Yeah, I like that! Here's a 3D printer, guys. There's still something in the box. Though. Just wanted it out of the way. This is our printing filament. So this is what we're gonna use to build or print your new toys, guys. This is the app, the XMaker app. It is updated weekly, and you can see all of the different products that you can make. And then it just loads some more up there. When you see something, let's just click on a sports car. You can click anywhere in the dead space to rotate around. And then you can click on any of those parts and pull it off. So you can get a better view of it. We're on things. We can go to theme. And I know how much you guys like airplanes. So let's go to airplanes. Just wanted to show the easy way to load the filament is that's a magnetic side. Make sure the filament is like this and then there's an arrow right there and a little hole underneath. We go right up there when you hit that gear right there you're supposed to push this down and then just load the filament right past there so that gear will spin and feed it in later and also unload it later. Password set up, so we're going to join the tablet. We have our Wi Fi on as well. All right, we have to click up here on the top right to find the available printers. Select it, it's connected. Now we can go to print and print. And it's going to take us almost three hours to print that. We didn't have to level anything. That's great. So we didn't have to calibrate it, it's just ready to go. One of the great features is that 3D printing does take a long time, so you can pause and resume the printing process. Our plane is done, guys! Yippee! And now that we're done, we're going to go to our filament, and we're going to pull off our side, and then we're going to unload. It's cool enough. It's a magnetic piece, so just pop it up. There you go. It's magnetic and it's flexible, so you want to bend it and it comes right off. What you think? It's good. Yeah, 
you gonna go play with it now since you just made your own toy? Yeah. Your own aircraft? What was that an F-14? This is the rough shape that it was uh, used to do in the arm. So you can actually just pull that off. That is really nice. It's pretty strong too, even though it's really thin. So there is your F-14. Oh, is this a dog fight? Yeah. Printing a birthday medal for his friend's birthday party tomorrow. And the birthday medal is done. On the computer, we have access to the same things we have on the tablet and the themes, but the difference is we can also design. And we can do the 3D modeling tool, which allows us to add basic models. So we can add a cylinder and we can drag it wherever we want to and click to drop it. Add a torus. We can do advanced operations, lines, splines, extruding. So we can revolve, we can twist, we can extrude text. So we got lots of cool features here. And then whenever we're done, since I'm on a computer and not on the Wi-Fi, I can use the thumb drive that it came with so I can upload the model that we created here and print it, or we can also upload it to the cloud and print it from there. The other option is sculpting. And when we sculpt, we're starting off with the basic sphere. And the line down the middle is the mirror line. So whatever we do on one side is going to happen on the other side. So if I just grab and drag, then it's going to pull that out. If I want to go back to the brush, do inverse and increase the strength, we can get that to go inward instead. Now you can see that I'm getting little eye sockets. So we can do whatever we want with this. We got the different ways we can do it, different operations, so we can pull stuff out, get little horns or something. If you're familiar with other 3D modeling programs, in this case Blender, you can create your 3D models in the program you're familiar with and then export it as an STL file, come back into the XMaker program, and in this case the 3D modeler, and we can import that STL file. And it tells us that it has been repaired. I left a few of the pieces at the tail incomplete, so I went ahead and filled them in for me. We could also go into the sculptor, and we can get rid of the default sphere, import, and it says import OBJ, but then you have the option to import the STL file. And then it pulls it in. It's rotated though, so we're going to go ahead and click on our gizmos. Pan off its side a little bit, and then we can rotate it. Once I click on that, we can rotate it upward. And if we wanted to still go and sculpt, we can just turn on any of our tools. And we can sculpt on it. Went ahead and put Charizard on the thumb drive, so we're going to go to print. Going to plug it in. We're going to go to USB, do our task zero. And then if we look really closely, you can kind of see what it looks like, Charizard right there. So we're going to go ahead and start printing. The XMaker software built in all the supports so that it could print the pieces that were suspended or not touching the ground at the start. Didn't realize how small I actually made it. You can see how thin they are. They're very very brittle so we can just pop them right off very easily so we can get our Charizard out of there. The Charizard didn't make it, decided to try the Dragon Skull. The printing base came off fairly easily. Got all the supports out of the dragon skull. Don't forget to post on Facebook and Instagram.
Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. What will happen last time? What will happen next time? Don't forget a cool extra.